Hey y'all, it's me again, Joey. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna be working on an RV. Now, I know most of you probably thought you was fixing to tune into a beekeeping video. I've always wanted to do a little other things on my channel and just never have gotten around to it. So today, we're gonna to do a little bit of a bumper install on the RV. And I hope you enjoy it and we'll get back with you when it's done. I originally had this generator box mounted on my other travel trailer, my tag along, and it had the sewer bumper on the back. And I had the uh, mountain lock safety struts on the uh, original bumper to make it stronger. And I used Jenny Go brackets and I just had this mounted on the Jenny Go brackets and that worked great. It had it level. It was planed level with the trailer. Rode good, never had an issue with it. Never had an issue with it. But when I bought this filth wheel, it has, it doesn't have a bumper. It has the regular uh, tow hitch, a receiver on the back. Anyway, I bought this rack to go in there and when I first got it and put it on there it all looks great this rack here is supposed to be good for 300 pounds 300 pounds that generator is like 90 pounds the box is probably 25 pounds I give it that 25 pounds maybe it's aluminum so let's just call it 125 round it off 125 pounds the receiver is good for 300 pounds. Now, this, the, uh, that carrier came with this thing here where you could let it up if you wanted to. You could actually just raise it up and shorten your length of your trailer. But after going three or 400 miles, Actually, it was more than that. It started bending. I had actually had to shorten this to try to get the pin in that hole. And at the edge of the receiver, that started bending. Cheap metal. Cheap Chinese metal. Soft as it can be. It's a good idea. And like I say, when I first put that on, it was square with the trailer. But now, even with it like this, I just put the, i show you what I got. I just put the, took that thing off and slid it right up in here and used the one hole it had for that where the hinge goes. And it rides, let me show you how it rides. See how out of square that is? Well, what happens, It'll, it'll run like it is, but when you're carrying it, the generator bounces toward the back of the box and it puts a lot of pressure on here and it makes the, the lock unlock and the lid will just fly up because it's so, you got 90 pounds bouncing against that. Well, anyway, I had to strap it down to keep that from happening. All right, here's what I did. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm taking all that off, but not right now. I'm gonna wait for the shade. It's, it's still in the 90s here in Louisiana. I'm waiting for the shade to get here. I may start this this evening, or I may try to start it early in the morning when the sun is on the other side of the camper. But I got, I ordered, the heavy hauler bumper, it's the five inch, just a little over five inch, kind of the middle of the road. So I ordered that bumper and I, I got these brackets. And I also ordered because I gave my other ones, my other uh, Jenny Go brackets. I gave them to my brother-in-law, it and a tray. I don't need the tray anyway. I never did use it. 
when I had it before. But it should. I don't know if you can see that up in here or not. It should mount right here. I can't even see it. Here we go. It should mount right here. We'll drill holes and mount those brackets here and it'll come under here and just out right in here. And I'm hoping the brackets for the heavy hauler bumper that and these brackets are long enough. If not, then I'll order the extensions they got. All right, I got the mounting brackets unwrapped. It was like unwrapping a Christmas present in cellophane. They had that thing wrapped good. They know how to get something prepared for shipping. This big bracket has to go right here. And that's gonna stick out about four or five inches. There you go, you can see that. I gotta get a drill in here and drill. It's gonna be tight. I can't do it from the other side. It's all closed up. I did check, make sure everything was clear on the other side. All right, I'm gonna set this up and try to get these holes drilled. Might get some done today. Might have to do some tomorrow. And I'll tell you one thing, this stuff is well packed. It took me five minutes to get this cardboard off the, the bumper. And then all this is packed in here real good. got that one drilled and tapped and bolted on I'm gonna mark me another one maybe one up here it's showing this one but that's so close to this right here I don't even know if I can get a boat in it so I'll, I'll either do this one or this one down here all right I get me another little tap started with my 3-8 bit looks like I'm straight all right I'm gonna change the bits I'm not gonna be able to hold the camera and do this two-handed job but I got my tap started Okay, I got that one. I hope that light's working. I got that one drilled and tapped. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put my 3.8 back in and make all my marks now and go ahead and do my drilling and get the rest of them in. All right, when I started drilling some of the rest of the holes, I realized I need to check and see exactly how far I want to sit out here. And what I did, I've already backed it up. I backed it up one hole, so nothing's wasted so far, except that one little mark I made there. So I backed everything up one hole, and that's gonna put me, let's see, right here. Let's see if I can hold that close. It gives me a couple of inches, and I do need a little bit of room there. Uh, I'll, I'll put it all together, and if I don't like it, I can always back it up another hole or adjust these things maybe. So I'm going to go with this, see how that works. Okay, while I had it loose, I went ahead and backed it up one more time just to kind of get an idea 
And you see how close that is right there. I could probably make that work if I wanted to. I may even give it a try. We'll see. Got a little pump grinding going on. That pump is almost as big as that one. And it's tall. It wasn't quite as big a range. It was about two tall. It's not that it. Right there, right there. We've got two back here we're gonna grab two two and a an old one a little stone okay back to this project all right I just temporarily before I went any further I went ahead and mounted I drilled two holes to mount the one on the other side. And I just temporary two of the brackets on there just to see uh, if I like the space I had here. And I think I'm gonna like that. I backed it up like I talked about. I backed it up one uh, two holes instead of one hole. So I did have one waste but no biggie. I like what I have. All right, let me go ahead and finish that up. Looks like it's about to rain on me. What I did mention earlier, while I had it on there temporary uh, to see what it looked like, as they said in the instructions, I went ahead and marked that bracket Mark both sides of it. The back and the bottom. And then I've got the first set put together. And I'm pretty sure I got it like they said to do. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on and just kind of snug it down. And this is my, this is the back of the bumper. And this is the bottom. That's pretty close. Now I need to see if I can get these closed up. I really don't have the right plants for this. I don't know if that'll work or not. I bought these clamps for some project that I was doing. They work good for that, but they're not working good for this. It's getting close though. Getting close. We try this bigger clamp. Need a good C clamp. It's been hot now. It's now it's wanting to threaten the rain. I won't complain about that. I get a couple of boats just temporary. 
and then I'll tighten it. The real temporary one down. Alright, that's good there. See if we can get one on this end. That's good. Now I'm going to go ahead and tighten down this one. supposed to be just to hold it close while you get it up to the trailer. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. Okay. Put it right here. Alright, we kind of got rained out when we was drilling the holes for this side. I got them all drilled and I was getting ready to actually mount the uh, bumper and I was getting ready to put these pieces on and it started raining on me but anyway it quit my stump grinder's gone back to work I've been going back to work now what I had to do if you remember I told you let me, let me get on this side I already had these drilled when I decided to move everything forward kind of dark in there I moved them that way, two holes, and reset it. And it looked good to me here, down through there. It looked like I had enough clearance. But after I started mounting it, on this side over here, this was bumping. This right here was bumping, right there. And I couldn't get all the screws in, so I backed it back up one hole. So I split the difference with what I, my plan was. Anyway, I got them on, got it tight. I see one thing I probably should have done is followed the instructions a little better. I actually mounted this on the inside. It's still not bad. It would have probably been a little bit cleaner to at least here. But it's there now and it's going to stay. Sorry about that noise. All right, I've got these pieces kind of loosely put together. When I had this installed on my older trailer, uh, the generator that is in the box, I had a set of these and I actually had it mounted on this side. And that left me space over here in case I ever wanted to add something. But I'm kind of thinking about right now putting it in the middle because it's the only thing that I have right now going on the bumper. Uh, now, one thing I need to mention, let me get over here about this dirty box. It got rained in and everything. See, I already got my holes drilled. The holes were drilled for this, those uh, Jenny Go struts or whatever you call them. The first time and the second set of holes was for that. I'm not going to call it what it is for that apparatus. All right, so I got that loose. What I'm going to do in the morning, I'll start back because it's about to get dark on. But I'll set it back up here and see if I can line those holes up to this bracket and get it, get the box bolted to this first and then anchor them down like they need to be. And I think I'll keep it in the middle for now. And if I ever want to add anything, I'll just, it, it won't take much. I'd have to pull the generator back out, but like I'd loosen it all up and just kind of slide it that way.
Well, it's the next morning. I just got the box sitting up here temporary. I do have it bolted down loosely where I can uh, adjust the brackets. They're still loose. I'm gonna get a, a measuring tape and get it centered. I still think I'm gonna go with the center right now. Y'all can tell me what you think. But, um, like I say, it, it's easy to move over. I just have to take the generator back out of it if I decide I need to move it over and make room for something else. Right now, we're going to go in the center. And uh, it, it should be, once I get it set where I want it and tighten everything down, It should be a good setup. Well, it looks good to me like it is. I didn't take in consideration when I was figuring on where to put it. This top bracket right here, when it touched on that side, I mean, I could probably shave just a little bit over there off and bring it on forward a little bit but it's good where it's at now this company that makes these they make one strictly for the rv uh, bumper that comes on trailers and it's got a snug tight fit i'm telling you it's tight and it holds it straight this bracket here or these struts here actually fit this five five inch or five and eighth whatever it is and the six so it's a little more adjustable and it you got a little slack here i'm thinking about putting a shim in here and that would kind of pick it up a little bit better but it, it still looks good i like it uh, it's got a little bit of downward slope but i've already hauled it this way a good bit and it it works fine it works real good it doesn't do all that bouncing that other basket did looks nice and clean to me the end of the bumper has easy access you can grab it here or the little handle at the bottom and there's your pieces all that fit in here real good plenty of room easy access nothing's in the jam okay y'all that's it for this one let me know if you want to see more videos like this one i got a few more that i'd like to post if you did, give me that thumbs up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.